guys, it's me, Maple. Uh, of course, of course. And in this video, I'm back with some more Daisy. I wasn't sure what to record. Um, I almost recorded Space Engineers, but I decided against it. And I was trying to play on a modded Daisy server, but um, I think Steam went down for like 10 minutes because I was having a lot of issues. Um, that's terrible. I don't know why I would take a skirt in the apocalypse. I need insulation and protection, and that won't provide either. Yeah, let alone, like, I don't think it has any pockets. The skirt. What is this? A farming hoe. Don't mind if I do. That should be pretty useful. I wonder if you can still use a pickaxe to, um... Okay, am I playing on a modded server, or is this just a regular thing over here? I don't know where I am. I don't play Daisy that much, so... Oh boy. Hi, insulation. Don't mind if I do. Those are some nice boots. I have no use for a jerry can, and I can't really carry it either. CJ might meow at me very shortly. Is that a gun? And a handguard for a weapon of some kind. Beautiful. I don't really need the handguard, but I'll take that anyways, because why not? So this is an empty Colt 1911 or 1911, I don't know. Um, can I inspect it? How do I inspect? It's damaged. It may not work. But um, maybe I can find a way to repair it. There might be some sort of repair kit or something that I can get. Um, if I don't find it in this video, and if I don't die, well, even if I do die, let me know if there is a way to repair damaged items. I think there's a sewing kit and stuff, like electrical kit. So maybe there's some sort of repair kit specifically for guns. Oh, that's nice. And two Colt magazines. I mean, that couldn't have been a better find. Officer Cap, M14 handguard. And then they're Colt. This one's only worn. I'll put this apple at four. And let's take out the worn Colt. Okay, so it also does not have ammo. Take out the damage. Um, can I inspect them at all? It doesn't look like you have the ability to inspect them, unfortunately. So I'm going to leave the damaged one. Because I don't need that. I'm going to take the worn one and move it there. Not that it matters. And I'm going to reload it, if it lets me. Okay, I didn't really check the magazines to see if they're full. Um, this one only has one bullet, it seems. But at least it has a bullet. Um, can I... Wait, where did the second one go? I had two. Oh, that's the number of bullets in it. I am an idiot. So I have two shots with this weapon. I only need one to kill 
a player if I'm good. But I have not really run into players and I'm not being stealthy. I very well might run into a player though. It is very possible considering I joined a medium populated server. It's a zombie over there. I'm going to take out my hoe and see. You know, this sucker could do a lot of damage. I feel like I could one tap a zombie, but. You know, in a realistic situation, if zombies were realistic to any degree. Ouchie. I really need to avoid fighting zombies in general. I never did look up if you could make bows and arrows and all of that, and I probably still won't. Because I just won't remember. I'm going to try to go around the zombies. There are so many of them. I can just see them dotting through the, uh, or dotted through the tree. I can't even call it a tree line because there's not that many trees. Is there a zombie in that bush? I thought I saw one over here. Yep, I think I hear it now. And there it is. It hasn't seen me yet, but it hears me. Well, oh. if it's seen me now. Yowza. Alright, I got some pristine duct tape from that. It's not that useful, but I got it. So if I successfully knock someone out, I can tape them up. But I don't think I'd bother with that, because they can break out of duct tape really easily. It only takes like 5-10 seconds of struggling. Um, although I could kill them in that time if I got to that point, but there's no point at all. If I turn my back to them, they'd get out. There's probably a few opportunities. I was tied up the day I recorded my last Daisy video. I was tied up by a bunch of players. I already talked about that experience in... They didn't like it when I was struggling to get out of the binds they put me in, but there's a couple times where I easily could have turned around and gotten out of them and killed them, but, well, probably not killed them. They were all decently geared, and they all had guns, but I could have at least punched one of them enough to maybe knock them out, depending on their reaction speed. Badly damaged, okay, so there's damaged and then badly damaged. So that's good to know for future reference. Um, 5.4539. I don't know. I don't know how to actually say that in like a uh, elegant, knowledgeable way. Because I don't know shit about guns and ammunition. I know, like, absolute basics for not even, not even. Um, I know some basics. There we go, that's better. Look at that. A pea coat. That's nice. I don't know why it's called a pea coat. Is it dyed with peas or something? Is it made out of... Well, I don't even know how you'd make a shirt out of peas. I don't think that's physically possible, but I, I shouldn't say that anything's possible. People make the dumbest shit. I could probably look around a little bit more in this... How 
house, but it's uh, found a hat, so I could probably find some more stuff. Yeah, there's something over here. Oh, never mind, it's a jug. I thought there was something on top of, like, a box, but nope, it was a handle. So what areas have I not explored yet? I think down here. There's some tents outside. That have the potential for some great loot. Pristine, bad insulation. I think I have much better boots than that. I have boots, not just shoes. Hopefully I have some way of knowing if a player gets nearby, because I am anything but stealthy these days. That just takes way too much effort to crouch around everywhere and just end up dying anyways. Pristine field vest. Is this pristine as well? Yeah. Nice. Assault Boots, Best Insulation. Yeah, that that's hard to beat right there. And now it's raining. There's a stock out of here. So, I don't know if you can build a gun, like, in its entirety out of pieces. I know you can in real life, obviously, but in this game, it seems like maybe those are just attachments. Box 9 by 19 is that what this uses? No, that uses 45 ACP. Crap. Well, um... Well, I have a nice wooden... Um, under one kilogram, well, this one's lighter, and I guess it's more tactical. I probably should stay inside, but it looks like I'm already sick. So, you know, I'm gonna die now, because I don't know how to handle any of this. And I don't know how long raining lasts in this game. So I'm just going to go over here. And continue to explore and loot. In hopes that maybe I can find some medication. More ammunition or anything really. Okay, there is a zombie over there. Take my farming hoe out. Uh, some more ammunition. Tactical gloves. Sneakers. Don't really care for sneakers. I have assault boots, so I don't know why I'd want that anyways. 45 ACP and a 7 round cold magazine. I'm gonna take this. And can I load? Oh boy. Ah, uh, yeah, this is how you do it. Damn, I'm good at that. Um, empty. And I got that good. So, swap. Combine. Load one more round. And then take out my pistol. 
pop in that mag, and now I have a total of seven shots. It would be so nice to find a player this match. I haven't, I haven't popped player in Daisy in so long, and I remember it being so satisfying. I haven't heard any gunfire. So I wonder how far away I am from other players. But right now it's looking like I'm in a shitty situation when it comes to food um, and health. So I need to find a knife so I can process carcasses. I need to find something to kill for food or just find food in general. Um, I need to get something to cut down trees and stuff with. I'm, I'm in a very bad situation. Very bad. Well, I mean, it could be a lot worse. It could be any of my previous playthroughs through this. I've gotten very lucky so far. I think I found a gun before, but... Like, that, that worked and I had ammo for it, but... This, you know, all this extra gear, all this inventory space. I haven't had this much inventory space in Daisy since the mod. Whoa, oh crap. I was wondering what the hell was happening, I wasn't attacking. Jeez, that's annoying. I started trying to put down plots instead of fighting with it. That is a dangerous weapon to use. Close the door behind me so I don't get surprised. High insulation. Um, it'll protect me from the wet. It'll give me some protection from zombies and the like. It's worth taking. Beautiful. Crap. Yeah, it spotted me. Oh no. Hopefully, uh, it's going to find me. I have two on me right now. I want to loot that guy. Come on. Ah, jeez, I hate it when they scream like that. Well, on the bright side, I haven't, um, oh crap. You know what, I'm using a gun. Crap. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that used a lot more bullets than I was hoping to. Found matches, I found a sprite. Yeah, I was hoping to only use two, but I'm clearly not a good shot anymore. That was pretty bad. Oh, crap. Yep, I knew that was going to happen, but I did it anyways. 
please stay stuck right there. Oh, no. Okay, so I should be prepared for a lot of zombies to come my way because of what I just did, and potentially players as well. I have two bullets left. Yikes. I really wish I didn't do that, but what's done is done. I don't know how much of this area I've explored, so I'm going to explore it a bit more. The broom. I don't know the use of that in this situation. Then suit jacket, I don't need that. Two suit jackets. That's interesting. A pristine double barrel rifle. Does it have any ammo? Of course not. Alright, well. I have a way to start a fire. I don't have a way of collecting wood. And I don't really have any food to cook. I don't know if I explored this building or not. See something on the table in there. A saw. How convenient. Just what I needed. Handy carpenter. Carpenter tool designed as author would. Yep. Um, wait, I'm not wearing the backpack. Can I not wear the backpack? Oh, it's ruined. Oh no. Did I have anything in the backpack? Um, I need to see if I can repair that. I'm going to put some stuff in here that I don't need out and about. I guess I could put that in there instead. Um... Take that out and put it away again. And I want to move that around and make room for the saw. And I'm going to go out and, well, I can cut off bark. I mean, I could saw through a tree, but it's not going to let me. Maybe I can saw through a small tree. I know this one would take a lot more time, but I would sit here and do it if it meant that that's not how you saw. Okay then. Um, yeah. Well, I'm going to take all of this kindling and fuel and just put it down here, honestly, I should combine to split this. Because I don't think I can put a large stick in there, but I can put short sticks. And if I reorganized my inventory, I could fit short sticks so I could carry them around, but... Um... Can I put this in there? Yeah, place. There we go. And it's kindling. So, bark right there. And I can light that with matches later. I'm going to get a little bit more fuel while I can. I'll cut down a couple more bushes. Oh, nice. 
nice. I got three short sticks from that. Okay. I'm going to close these doors. Try to offer myself a bit of protection. Did I already look upstairs? Sometimes there are small things on the ground that you just can't see. Alright. So I'm going to take the matches in my hand here. And ignite. Yep, that is how you ignite it. You stick your hand through the metal. There we go. That should, that should work. Hopefully. I am burning green wood, but I have fuel and I have kindling and this is a video game. I don't want to put any of my wet clothes near it, because I'm a bit worried about what would happen. Like, if I put this... Well... Yeah, I don't really have a way to just... I'd have to take the backpack out of my pants. I don't really want to experiment with that, which I guess I could put in my gloves and just watch it. It would take quite a while to dry off all of my clothes and that would also require taking them all off and putting everything on the floor so I'm not gonna do that but I will dry off my gloves and my boots why not Um, I have no idea how to, um, did I damage my gloves on the oven? I hope not. But I don't know how to deal with being sick in this game. I don't think anyone left a comment on my last video mentioning, you know, Anything I could do, I'm guessing the only solution is medicine. Well, zombie bodies stick around for a while, or someone's out there. That was a weird sound. Is it still raining outside, or is it? Yeah, it sounds like it's still raining outside. It doesn't really look like it. Uh, yeah, I can see it now. Boy, I don't think I'm going to be finding any players out in this neck of the woods. Although I did spawn very close, so it's possible. I just think that it's pretty unlikely. I never get to find players in this unless I'm at a severe disadvantage. But yet again, I don't play it that often. to 
do besides wait out the storm. Because going out there and getting more wet and more cold doesn't sound like a, uh, a smart move. But what do I know? It would have been awesome if I could have found a sewing kit. But no. The one time I need one, there's no one to be found. Yeah, all my clothes have taken a lot of damage from all the zombies. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I don't know if I'll just get better from this sickness. If I just stay well rested and all of that. If I just like lay down here, would that be a good idea? Just take a nap on this blood soaked floor. That's wonderful. You know, I'm sure that everything in this game just smells amazing. I bet you can't even escape the smell of death out in the middle of the woods. Probably just wasps from all the cities. You'd think anyways. Well, if you're morbid like me. Um, hopefully my voice hasn't been too annoying in this video. I know it's a little gravelly. I swear I'm getting sick or something. I've been sick the last couple days. No idea why, but... Well, I am not including that in the video. But pretty much, as I was walking and talking... Someone ran up to me, yelled hands up really quickly, and I didn't know how to do it, and they shot me. So, um, how do you do hands up? Is it, it's probably an F key, and I'm not pressing F keys. Is there another way to emote in this game? I just got really close to the microphone, so hopefully that's not messing with that too much. And I picked my custom character. And I got a random dude. So, custom character is a load of BS. Alright then. Um, I need to look at the controls, probably. Controls, configure key bindings, and gesture. Yeah, they're all... Why isn't there like a gesture wheel or something? Yeah, that's um... I could probably do like shift one, two, three, four, etc. Well, I can do one through seven. Uh, no, don't discard them. Apply. Back. And let's try the gestures. Shift F2 is that. Shift F3. Nope. <laughs> Shift F4. Or Shift 4 is great. Shift 5 is hands up. Shift seven point. So I want shift four, five, and seven, I think. Is it, yeah, six is chef's kiss. So I'm going to go into controls and I'm going to do shift one. Well, 
the heads hands up is going to be shift out there. Shift one, flip off will be shift two, and whatever that is will be shift three, and this will just be. Oh no. Um. Oh, there we go. I can just press escape or X on those. Alright, so if I need to put my hands up, shift one. If I don't like someone, shift F, shift two. And if I need to direct someone, shift three. Alright. Beautiful. So let's try this again. Um, damn zombies yelling at me and chasing me. Can't get a moment to myself, can I? safe over here. They seem to be stuck up there, so that is beneficial to me. I don't know how long that'll last, considering how glitchy this game is. And I got a cut. Awesome. They disappeared. They're coming after me. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to, well, that's technically closed, but it's invisible, so. Yeah, no thank you. All right, got away from them. For now until I need to get down from here. I wonder if my FOV is all the way up. Yeah, I think it is. For a second I thought they were up here with me. I was like, how the hell did that happen? Alright, don't know where I should go from here. Yeah, they're still after me. Yeah, that's not, that's not cool. I wonder if I can sneak away. I need to sneak more. I think it's working. Yeah. Oh boy, is that another zombie? That one sounded scarier. Is that red one still following me? Yep, the red one still sees me. So running isn't doing that much for me here. Ouchie. I need to remember that falling in this game is even worse than real life. Um, I know that was pretty bad of a fall right there, but um, even very small falls will cause you to break your legs or your ankles or whatever the fuck. And it's really annoying. Well, at least it used to be. Yep. Um, so many zombies. Nothing to kill them with. I need to see if I can get some loot of some kind. Well, there we go. We got a pipe. 
so I can beat him over the head with a pipe. And it's better than nothing. But only by a little bit. I don't really know the map by heart anymore. Um, I used to a long time ago. So I have no idea where I am. I couldn't even point to me on the map if I had one. And I don't really know where to go for a good loot. Just wandering around until I find something good. Jumpsuit, jumpsuit jacket. Don't mind if I do. Let's get nice slots. Good uh, insulation. It's very visible though, so I'm not hiding from anybody, that's for sure. Unless they're colorblind. Which apparently a lot of guys are, which is weird. Well, only slightly. It's kind of understandable, but I'm not even going to get into all that. Just thank goodness I'm not colorblind, or at least if I am, like, very, very slightly, if I don't think I am, but I know that apparently there are certain colors that I just can't tell the difference from, according to my sister, at least. She could just be fucking with me, though. Let me go to that house over there. I need to look for a map online and try to make my way towards a military base or something again because I was able to get some good loot that way. It'd be nice if I could get some more. I don't think I'm going to need a flare anytime soon, but I don't even know why I would need one. That just makes me more obvious than I already am, so I'm just going to drop that. I'm going to look in this shack over here, and I'm going to just sit right here and pause it while I look for a map. Oh, okay, so I think I am near Dracon Island. Because I'm pretty sure there is a port over that way. A small little dock. Cement dock. You know, in comparison to a full-on port. And I think I went through a guardhouse. So I'm just going to go to the coast and look for any sign of an island. Because if I'm correct, then I want to go... I think I want to go that way to get to uh, Electro. Uh, Electro Zavotsk. Electro Zavosk. Zavos I don't know. I always called it Electro. Um, which is a major city which is likely to have a lot of players, but also a lot of loot, theoretically. Although it's likely picked clean every couple seconds. And I may be wrong about my location, judging based off the lack of a dock in my visual. Yeah, I'm not seeing one over there, and I'm not seeing an island. So I'm not sure where I am. Um, I don't see an island. I'm along the coast, clearly. Yeah, I'm 
around near Kaminka or whatever. Those are all hazard zones. Um, can we M9 near Cami Filvo? No, I don't think so. I think I've spawned there a couple times, but I don't think that's where I am. Um, hmm. Where could I be? Definitely not near Sol Jinji. I don't know how to pronounce that. Use Noi. Is that where I am? I don't think so. Yeah, that's an apple orchard. Never mind. Um, I have no idea where I am. Okay, maybe I am where I thought I was, outside of Electro, and I just can't see the dock. Either way, I'm going to go this way. Oh, I see some things in the distance that appears to be a dock of some kind. So that's either Electro or the place that I think I am. Which it wouldn't make sense if it's the place that I think I am, but still. Oh, that's my stomach. I'm like, when they add zombies that sound like frogs. No, I'm just hungry. And that looks like a gas station up ahead. Which I can't tell if there's a gas station on this map, but it looks like there is something. It looks like there's more than just a gas station on the map, but if it has food, then I'll be very thankful. What I want to know is where the hell Dracon Island is. Is it that far out that I can't see it, or is it farther down there? I guess it was just out from the coast, from the dock. And it's not huge, but it has a lighthouse, so I feel like I should be able to see it. I don't know. If you know where I am, let me know. So I know for future reference. Hell yeah, a butane lighter. And then suit jacket, I think I'm good. A four dial combination lock. Um, I don't really need it. Like one of the most unappealing things that I used to want so bad is uh, the ability to build a base. And I have to say that um, you know, I've played Rust back when it was good, in my opinion. Um, before they made like the whole new map and they started remastering it, now I don't know what it is, but maybe it's good. But I, my latest experience with Rust said otherwise. But uh, those persistent worlds, as cool as they may sound, are only really good if, um, you know, you have a bunch of people sharing a base and checking in on it and stuff, or if you have that much free time and you can somehow get alerted when you're asleep that someone's breaking into your base. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like that anymore. Like, if I were to run a server, I wouldn't really care, because I could just, you know, make my stuff ungriefable. When I'm offline, anyways. Matches and a butane miner, nice. I wouldn't want it to be, I wouldn't want to be, like, in god mode, in god mode. But when I'm offline, I would definitely make everything ungriefable. 
I don't want all that work gone just because I had to go to sleep or do something else with my life. Oh, I found a sickle. Which is useful for cutting things, I guess. Um, those salty chips did not last that long food-wise at all. Eat shit. Eat shit. Alright. Did I loot this area at all? I'm gonna assume no. Working boots, high insulation, don't mind if I do. I'm not seeing any loot in here. You know, these warehouses are unrealistically empty and clean. They need to pile a lot more junk in it. Make it more of a creepy maze of crumbling shelves and boxes and crap. Power generator. I'm sure whoever kills me would like that, but I have no idea what I could even do with power in this game if I got that far. I have a feeling I'm on track to dying very shortly. Oh boy. Man, there's something up there. I just didn't want to run all the way back. Um... Uh, epoxy putty. Repairing of hard surfaces. I don't really know if I need that for anything. Um, but okay. As I was saying, I think I'm nearing the uh, lifespan for this character. Because I always seem to die around 30 minutes to an hour. And I'm hungry. I'm getting closer to Electro, I think. Actually, I feel like I should be in Electro right now. So I don't know where I am. Never mind. Or I should be near Electro, if I was where I thought I was. Oh, a leather sewing kit. Nice. Now I find one. Okay. Hopefully that successfully muted me. I'll have to make sure I look. Because if not, I just coughed in your ear. And I'm sure that is super relaxing. Wait a minute. No, I'm not there. Could I be here, maybe? No. Oh. Okay, I know where I am now. I am at... Uh, Solnichny, 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 something like that. Um, I was north of it. I 
hear zombies outside. Ooh. Fuel. A large gas canister. Could be useful. Potentially. Perhaps. I'm just going to climb over that fence, hopefully to avoid zombies. Let's go and close this door, yet again, to avoid zombies. A PAS control panel, some sort of radio, so I guess I could talk to other players that way. Loot here. If only I could break these windows and climb through them. That's what I was hoping for the apple tree. So I have an apple here. I'm going to eat that. So there should be like... Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven apple trees in this general area. Um, and there's others scattered around this town. I want to take this saw blade, hand saw. Alright, beautiful. I made room. I'm going to take the pipe out. Air badly damaged. Um, no, thank you. Oh boy. Pristine pear. Beautiful. I could probably cook some of this fruit to make it more energy efficient. Yeah, there's fruit trees along here. some food. Yeah, I have um, multiple different ways to collect stuff to burn. And I have multiple ways to light a fire. So that's what I'm going to do. Another apple. I thought that was a player for a second. Oh, crap. Oh boy. I gotta cut. So let's bandage that really quickly. This guy has a backpack. It's badly damaged. But I should be able to wear it. I don't know why I'm holding it in my hands. Oh, it's ruined. Can I, uh, combine? No. Swap. Um. No, that's only for leather. God damn it. Well. That's not useful. I'm going to drink this soda, go over here, where did I cut down that bush? Take this wood, 
take this wood into my hands. Oh boy. Um, look for a little stove. I think there was... Can I? Nope. Damn it. Alright, I'm just gonna have to make a fire. Um, I don't remember how to do this. Crap. I might need to get, um, some kindling first. So let's drop sticks here. And let's see if I can cut some bark from the tree. Alright. Um, take that into my hands. And let's see if I can combine to... Uh, craft a fireplace. Oh, crap. I guess I'll just put it right here. And I gotta see if I can get a long stick. Um, that's gonna be a little bit more difficult around here. I think I can get one from this bush. I hope I get one from this bush. Yep, there we go. Okay. So I'm gonna take... Where's my sickle? Ah, uh, you've gotta be kidding me. Where'd my sickle go? Did I really drop it over there? The heck? Wait. Where have I been putting it? Oh, I guess I've been putting it right there, huh? I don't know why I didn't go back. Um, let's fill that out, fill that, get my long stick over here, combine this, sharpen with a sickle, and then um, I'm going to put a pair on the end of that, take some matches. Uh, why isn't it letting me? Hmm, what's going on here? Why can't I ignite that? I don't know, but I'm going to eat because my health is so low. I'm literally going to die as I'm eating this. And I'm not sure why. Is it really because of hunger? It very well could be. Um, well, this is a predicament, I must say. I don't really know. Why would it not let me? Is it because it's inside? It might be because it's inside, but I, I've done this before. And there's a zombie nearby. So it was because it was inside. Let's start this little fire here. Get my sharpened stick with a pair.
Is it lit? Is it on fire? Or did that not work? I guess it takes multiple attempts or something, or I didn't finish it. Okay. That worked. Where did my stick with a pair go? Oh, I can just carry that. Well, I should take care of this zombie while I'm here. Emperor Palpatine, what are you doing in this game? I don't know. Wait, is this already out? What happened? Why is it all flat like that? I don't know. Um, and let's roast this. I don't know how to tell when it's done, if it needs that whole progress bar or not, or if it's going to just slowly change, or change in phases. It seems like it needs the whole progress bar. Hopefully that's the appropriate assumption. It's still raw. So maybe that was just heating up. Oh. Now it's a baked pear. And all that cools down. Can I just put that? There we go. And while that cools down, I'm going to roast the apple. I'm going to roast both the apples because I'm here. And I think once I eat these roasted fruit, at least some of it until it seems like I'm relatively full. I'll end that vi I'll end the video there because it's been over an hour and you know, hopefully you found this enjoyable. Hopefully you found it relaxing. It might be a bit frustrating because I'm not good at this game. But Hopefully, it's still worth watching. I mean, if you've watched this far, then at the very least, I managed to put you to sleep, which is part of the goal here. Honestly, at this point, the most appealing part of my channel is that I've been trying to make all my thumbnails, and they're starting to look pretty good. They were looking... Eh. But, I've been rather proud of my recent ones. Still learning the programs, I just got, I just bought um, Affinity Designer from Refunding New World, because I just wasn't into it. I don't want to commit all that time to an MMO, um, when I've already committed plenty of time to Warframe, and I likely will again once it's updated with the new war but at the same time i'm still looking at new war but new world i mean because it's interesting i never got to experience the pvp yeah i know it's not amazing but it could be pretty fun especially as they update the game. I'm a little bit worried about a few things because, you know, MMOs become a huge mess because everyone has on their mounts and stuff. So I'm hoping that they disable mounts in uh, PvP. 
except for maybe mounts that like you can spawn in and kill as well. Um, anyways, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop myself from going on a random tangent. And I don't know why I'm like limping slash walking here. It feels like I'm going slower than usual, and I'm not sure why. Did I press something? No, Caps is speaking. Maybe I'm just, uh, it's because I'm like unhealthy, tired and all that. Um, and I'm not sure what the plus is versus the drop. So there's a lot to still understand and learn with this game. But I'm glad that I've managed to cook some food finally. Um, but I am going to end this video here, and, well, what time is it? Nah, no, it's 1 a.m. I'm not gonna play anymore. I was thinking, like, hey, maybe I could play this character some more, but I need to get to bed. I have to wake up tomorrow, so, um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.